Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to Dark Sage Walker Plays Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. Last run didn't go so hot. I'm not like necessarily protecting a streak or anything, but yeah. I'll point out it wasn't a terrible run. I didn't. It wasn't like one of those runs where the game just said right off the bat, "You are going to lose," and that is that. I couldn't hit. Not, it wasn't hit. It was just some poor play combined with basically me looking at the game going, what the hell is this? Why are you doing this to me? Am I not one of your most ardent and loyal supporters? Why do you treat me this way? To which the game's general response is, eh, nothing personal. just kind of leaves me with this feeling of, I'm sorry, but it does kind of feel personal. Why did you stop? It's like I was a red light and he was just like, oh, can't go that much further. Okay, now we're starting to, we're starting to see some parallels here. Fire. Why are we getting Bucket of Lard a second time in a row? try to save Ansu's for a later floor. Oh yeah, I wish I had known that that was a Balls of Steel pill right off the bat. I would have saved it. Okay, this negative luck business has got to go. I'm not finding anything. That's because that's because my luck score is dictating that I can't find anything. By the way, those of you who say that your luck score doesn't have that big of an impact, yeah, it kind of does. I'm sorry, but I, harsh, I harshly disagree with that sentiment. Your luck score actually determines more than you think. Oh my goodness, what is this? First boss, champion haunt? Y'all gotta be kidding me with this shit. At least this is a champion that I know kinda shoots off center, so I'm doing the best strategy just to stay in front of him, but still. Wow. Alright, well. No keys going down to the second floor. I could use at least two. I need them to show up kinda quickly. See, the other thing that I started to do on the last video, and kind of ended because I was complaining about how the run was going, is I was talking about Sony's censorship policies. And that is a topic that I will continue talking about as soon as I don't have a guy running at me at 50 miles per hour trying to bite my face off. Now, the clearest, the clearest example I can give as to why this new censorship policy is bunk is that it's generally ultra-violence that tends to get looked down upon in, in Japanese culture. I already stated that Mortal Kombat 11 was banned in Japan, and not necessarily for being a bad game, just because its depiction of hyper-violence is, well, I'm sorry, it's an issue in Japan. I didn't want to pick that up, but okay. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really matter, I don't have... Oh, and there's a tainted rock in this room. God damn it. Hey, this negative luck score is really fucking me. Haven't found a single key in this run yet. Okay, what has been up with these last couple of runs? Why have they been so aw, so uncharacteristically awful? Ooh, Eden Blessing. I'm not gonna turn down a tier rate improvement. I'm gonna leave that on the ground. I'm gonna leave that there. Also because I can't open it. Alright, so we're going to probably take the opportunity to become Lazarus Arisen, That's, that'll help big time. Mm. 
Yeah, fart, whatever. Another tinted rock. Well, don't mind if I do. Oh, we have the soul heart. Alright, so let's just go ahead and, and take on monster. Ow. Well, that was mighty unexpected. Of course, this is big, big fat slow monstro, so he doesn't super jump. But he does just take up a lot of room and shoot a lot of shots. At least I know I'm going to get the get the devil deal this time around. Unlike my last run where I was just getting hammered endlessly. Ooh, don't mind if I do. Alright, so we're gonna take that. We're gonna take that as just. And we're back! Now, Judas's shadow in this case is almost strictly just. Is almost strictly just insurance. Because I want to clear this run as Lazarus. And yes, there was one more soul heart. I'll go grab that. And still putting up with the no keys thing. We'll now just move on to the next floor. Alright, 7 rate of fire, 6.23 damage. It's definitely a better spot than we were in in the previous run. At least at this point. Now assuming it's not the curse of the where the fuck do I go... Okay, that was really stupid of me. Why did I just sit there? Well, this is very much the opposite of the last run, where, where it was... I, I swear they were trying to turn me into Sonic the Hedgehog. Which, by the way, in case you haven't heard, that's another bit of good news. Sonic the Hedgehog? <laughs> The Sonic the Hedgehog design for the movie is getting redone, so thanks to Sega, thanks to Paramount, and thanks to the fans for pushing back on that god-awful design. For once, the studio, for once, the fans were listened to. It's gotta be a rare day coming out of Hollywood. Matter of fact, let's look at this. Hollywood listening to fans, Nintendo being le less for censorship than Sony, I swear all of this was mentioned in the Book of Revelations, and yes, I've made that joke already, I just don't care. Oh, there's my speed right back. So in the end, nothing of value was gained or lost by that. So... Simply because they actually went out of their way to listen to fans and, you know, do something positive, I kind of feel like even though I was probably going to ignore that movie, I might need to see it now just on the grounds of they did something right. Alright, well last run bombs were the rarest commodity, this run it's keys. One of those hurts a lot more than the other. Well, I can get into the shop. There are still no keys. Maybe the card. Nope. Alright, well, maybe the super secret room will have a key? I feel like I'm being pumped. 
You're kidding me. Oh, there's a key. Okay. I can't believe how hard keys are to find in this run. But, this is looking like a much better run than Fruitcake. Okay, what the hell. Last run was $3 bill, this run is Fruitcake. Is the game trying to tell me something? You know, $3 bill is generally a pretty good item, so... Or at least it's generally not a net negative item, so I can't complain too hard. It did help us body chub. Alright. We've got a much more positive looking run going into the fourth floor. I don't yet know if I'm going to be able to make boss rush. I would love to be able to make boss rush, but honestly, there's no guarantee. But something very odd that I noticed about the games that Sony wants to censor, I mean, obviously it's games that have sexual content, but it's almost entirely games that have sexual content that are, like, mohan that are, like, anime-focused. Like I said, like Senran Kagura, like, games like Molero Chronicles, visual novels in general. Hey guys. I'd like to know how much help I have. Like, it's weird that those are the games that they want to censor, especially considering that, to me, those aren't necessarily the games that are that are problematic, and, you know, the Japanese authorities seem to agree with me on that. So, why are those games the ones being censored? And, unlike most of the time when I am, when I ask that question and... You know, it's just more of a rhetorical thing. I actually have an answer this time. The actual... They actually made a press release about that, saying that they're... And these aren't the words that they used, so take it with a grain of salt. But basically, they said that they're covering their asses because of the... Because of the Me Too movement. Now, I'm not... I'm not saying that, you know, you shouldn't speak up should you be harassed. And let's also take a quick moment to say, hey, I'm not defending Harvey Weinstein. Guy's a fucker. But does that mean that does that mean that the Me Too movement should somehow be legitimized? Because in my personal opinion, I don't think so. I don't know if I want that or not. Just it's just nice to have the option. But do I think that eh, that everyone needs to censor themselves on eh, on account of being scared of retribution from the Me Too movement? I don't think so, especially since a lot of the people who have who have issues here, who, who have issues brought up because of it. Well, not all of those issues are legitimate. And again, not so. Not trying to say I'm like anti woman or anything, so that's not the point of this. The point of this is you're censoring yourselves on a. On a self self articulating basis, when you don't have to. I mean, that's kind of what the ESRB was formed for. It's strictly for cases like this. Thank you. Take that. Take that. Now I have double flight. But what I also have is an occasional barrier that will show up to help me out. So empty vessel. I should explain that. When you pick up Empty Vessel, you gain two black hearts, but you also you also get the ability to fly when you have no red hearts. And also when you have no red hearts, you 
you acquire you acquire occasional invulnerability. I want to say it's like every 40 seconds or something, so if there's enemies present in the room. So, yeah, empty vessel. Very good item. See, look at that. It's just invulnerability just for, just for being, and I love it. So, to clarify my point, I have no issue with people wanting to push back on sexual harassment. The problem is, I didn't get the feeling most of the people who spoke up for... who have been speaking up on this whole Me Too movement are not legitimate. And I think the people that are doing that, that are drawing attention away from people who have actual reasons to be upset and need to call out their harassment, are being negatively affected by people like that. And it's to the point now where our art, and yes, I am one of those people that thinks games are art, fight me on it. It's our art is being affected by this, again, very pro-left-wing bullshit censorship. I don't want to stay here too long, because I am still trying to make boss rush, even though the items I've been... Again, I've, they're, it's better than last run. At least in general, but last run I had more damage. Yeah, we'll definitely take this. This crystal ball is definitely a good one. And away with me! Now what I need... Huh? I have decent defenses, what I really need is greater offense. No, I'm wrong, a 5 rate of fire is definitely good, but I would like to be able to eliminate enemies a little bit faster. Fewer enemies on screen means less damage being taken because they're not there to do damage. Perhaps that seems like a very Captain Obvious point, but hey. Fruitcake is actually doing a good job right now. Can't complain too loudly. I just wish my base damage was better. Okay, so I will take both of these. I'm not sticking with Guppy's head, but I am taking it on the chance that I get to be Guppy. And that's always helpful. Take the PJs, we out. And yes, I should have used Perthrow on Guppy's paw, but oh well. I like that item. I'll probably go back and take it later, just right now I don't necessarily want to take the time to fight a, bo a boss trap room. Worth it, but again, I'm just trying to make boss rush, so I kinda wanna keep him kinda wanna keep the forward momentum going. Especially since I have no map, I need to just kind of keep on the move. Ugh. Thanks a lot, fruitcake. You jerk. How come I'm getting so many explosive shots now? It's actually starting to become detrimental to my health, you know. I hate this room. I'm very happy I got out of there without taking damage. Here's the item room. Hopefully it's something good. If not, that's what Perthro is for. Oh, 
Oh, I love how to jump. But I don't need to use perk throw here because they gave me a perfectly good avenue for re-rolling items. No, thank you. I'll just lower my range. Blank card, on the other hand, is better than Crystal Ball by a long shot. And I can keep re-rolling. And I'll definitely take Mom's wig. Starting to cut it kind of close here. I need to find mom, I need to find her quick. There we go. Oh, thank you, thank you. That's a big help. Oh, and vulnerability. Please, by all means. Oh yeah, who's your daddy? Alright, so... Taking this again, because I never did get all the way through on the last run. Alright, what do we got? Awful, awful, awful... God! Okay. Even more gaiety down there. D6. Eyeball tears. Yeah, well, the fact of the matter is, I don't like any of these, but I am going to take this and we will fight through Boss Rush because I still have yet to do it on Laz's poster. Whoa! Sir, the fuck did you come from? The obvious answer is underground. Don't... Don't actually answer that. Honestly, I probably could have used Blank Card to roll the item again, but oh well. Eleven damage, five rate of fire with spiders. It's honestly a pretty honestly it's a pretty good run. I'm not sure how I feel about having both three dollar bill and fruit cake. Like I said, I far prefer having having just straight up consistency, but I'm not going to complain. It's, it at least gets the job done. All right, Uriel, get down here. So yeah, I honestly, getting back to the point that I've been on for a little while now, I honestly believe that Sony's new new curation practices are ultimately going to hurt things, especially since they have the they have the biggest install base of any console right now. It's just it's just ridiculous that that's what they want to resort to. But it's also a pattern that I've seen before. Sony, once they get on top, they kind of let their hubris take over, and they're like, "Oh, we can do whatever, whatever we want. We don't need to listen to anyone else." A point that they've been very clear, on, very clear on when they, as they've been, as they've been very uncooperative on the whole cross-platform play, even though everyone else is like, "We think this is a good idea," and they're like, "Fuck that." You don't want to deal with cross-platform play. We want you to come to us for all the best games. First of all, no one's saying you have all the best games. Some people may agree with that. Some people may not. But but honestly, it's such a it's such a scummy anti-consumer business practice that I don't understand why they even think it's worth pursuing. No, you're not winning any you're not winning any favors by holding out on the let's all play together bandwagon. I'm not sure if I've brought the topic up on other videos before, but I know they've been very, they've been very, you know, no-go on cross-platform play, especially with games like, like, it's odd, Microsoft owns Minecraft, but they act, they actively pursue cross-platform play for PC players, for Nintendo Switch players, for, for everyone. Now, to be fair, I thought I had heard that that Sony had relented on cross-platform play for Minecraft, but I could be wrong about that. But I know they're not. I know they don't want cross-platform play for any for any other titles. Not gonna, 
Wait, was it Minecraft or Fortnite that they were unwilling to relent on? Probably Fortnite, I'm sure that makes them more money nowadays. Ouch. That was just a silly little accident. I'll take that. <laughs> oh, those Trisavian shots look hilarious. I don't appreciate your methods, sir. Alright, boss rush has got to be over pretty soon. What? Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, and of course, you send one of your little eyeballs up there just to... just to smite my chances. Little punk. Yeah, that's what I think it is. Missing no, alright. I don't really want a reroll spoon bender, I like that. So now no matter what my shots are, I know that they'll at least be homing. Womb XL. This is starting to look like the previous run. But I do think I'm in a better position on this run. I have just more going for me. How often is it that you find the boss room after two rooms? Like, seriously, that's rare. Oh, did I use my Perthro rune like a complete idiot? Oh my goodness. Okay, well now, now it's worth searching around for another thing I can use blank card with, because apparently I didn't even notice that I used my Perthro rune without using blank card. You know, like a complete genius. Ugh. I am a numbskull, I can't believe I did that. That's right, you know what they say about mistakes. You make mistakes so that you can learn from them. Whoa! That was awesome. So, I find who, and all of this in the wake of Nintendo basically saying, no, we're not going to play your SJW games. Go away. <clears throat> I don't understand why Sony doesn't just do the same. I have to get... I have to... I get it... I really get a strong feeling that they think that something that somehow or another getting more woke points on t on Twitter is going, to, is going to equate to earning more money. I think what they fail to understand is that the... Uh, is that the people on Twitter who are concerned with this whole sex-negative, forced diversity crap don't really spend their money on that. To be fair, they don't have a lot of money to begin with. And I don't necessarily mean that as a negative thing. Shit, I barely have any money myself. But, I think it's funny that so many... And so many corporations and so many people want to cater to that crowd even though they're not going to benefit from it. Sorry, but there is an actual... There is an actual precedent for the phrase, Get Woke, Go Broke. And once again, to put a capstone on this and make sure that my butt is covered, I have no problem with with people fighting for uh, fighting for a decent cause. But you know, the stipulation there has to actually be a decent cause. Just trying to just trying to force diversity into every into things into places where it doesn't belong. 
and trying to tell people what they can and can't do with their time and their and their money, that's the sort of thing that I have an issue with. Hematemesis. And that's what I actively fight back against is is this perception that's that says that things have to and should be that way. Especially when you're talking about something as subjective as art or storytelling. Sorry, but not everyone huh? not everyone feels this feels this way that they can only identify with a story or a character or you know anything unless it's someone of of your same gender, your Sure. Down. Retrovision, I'm not gonna use it. Alright. Like what what part of what part of of a fictitious story requires requires the character to have the same same circumstance the same circumstantial burden I'm saying it wrong. I think what I'm trying to say is same circumstances of birth in order to be relatable. Like, is this seriously how people think? Is that nothing can be good unless it's somehow 100? Unless it somehow relates perfectly back to you and you alone? Is that... Whoa, how did I do that? I know exactly how I did that, and it's just an effect of $3 bill and fruitcake conspiring to make an explosive shot pop in my face. Oh. One more devil deal. Is it anything good? <laughs> well, no, because it's a little late for Goathead to help. Down to Shoal with me. Now, when it comes when it comes to me and my preferences in the, in that regard, I am I'm not judging the character by. I'm not judging a character in a story by the color of their skin or whether or whether or not they have a vagina. What's important? What the hell? Okay. Oh, I thought that was those were secret rooms. I was wrong. What's important to me is how the character is written. How how their part in the story goes. How do how does How, do, how does the character behave? What sort of lessons do they learn? What sort of hardships do they have? These are things that are more important to me than does he have a dick? The circumstances of a character's birth aren't as important as how they behave in the story. Wow. That was a move of ultimate stupid on my behalf. Like, let's just use this game as an example. Now, naming the game Binding of Isaac is pretty hitting the nail on the head because it's very clearly supposed to be a take on the Binding of Isaac parable from the Bible. Now, if they had altered the game so it was cool, now, if, when the game came out, it was actually Binding of Ivy, just as an example. It wouldn't change anything. It's still the same gameplay, it's still the same uh, same overall gameplay loop. It's just a female character instead of a male character. As long as the same points are made, and, you know, the gameplay remains unchanged, I doubt anyone's going to throw a hissy fit. The people that do are the truly immature ones. The ones who think that everything should be changed to meet their specific desires. And to be fair, there are people like that on both sides of the aisle. I'm not just singling out one group of people or another. But the difference is, it's usually one group of people who do make the demands. So, it's worth bringing up. Why do I keep thinking there's a door over against that wall when there isn't one? Okay, I was hoping for a black card, but oh well.
Now, if I still had that bla that Perth Roll Ruin, I could change that to something else. As is, I feel like an idiot for having used it without using Blank Card. That's one of those things I'm going to be beating myself up over for a while, because I love it when I get Blank Card Perth Roll. <laughs> no thanks. Hey, my first gold bomb. Cool. It's right at the end of the floor, though, so it doesn't really help. But still, I can at least check for secret rooms. Beautiful. How the hell did they push it that far away? What did y'all do? This time, this time you don't summon two at once every single time, but last time you just wanted to ruin my life? Is that what this is all about, Stanley? The Stanley Parable? Fun game, by the way, check it out. Wow, are you serious? I mean, I'm not turning down becoming Guppy, it's just... Now you've set a precedent, I kind of would like to now go uh, go down to the void. Speed up. Feels like I'm walking on sunshine. So we'll see if the game gives me the opportunity after the lamb, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of expecting not to be able to go to uh, to go to the void. I mean, it is only a 35% chance of happening after all. Wait. Did I drop my Degas rune? So I did. Wow, that's twice I've done something really stupid and didn't notice. No, you don't. Why would you give me that? Do I look like a fool to you, Acid Baby? I am no one's fool, except for my own. Ultimately, the whole uh, one of the big points that I that I keep coming back to with this whole Sony censorship issue is, okay, so you have a problem with sexual content because of the Me Too movement. Do you have a problem with anything else? Like, do you have a problem with, oh, just as an example, hyper violence? Do you have a problem with realistic sexuality? That was just dumb. Thank you, Gimpy, though. Thank you. <laughs> um, Gemini, don't care. Degas. As a matter of fact, I know Sony scored some big woke points when they revealed that The Last of Us 2 is going to star Ellie, who is, who is of course a lesbian. And I'm pretty sure that was true in the first game as well, but it just either wasn't explored or they hadn't or it hadn't been fully decided yet. I mean she was just a kid. But okay, she's a lesbian now. I have no problem with that. But uh whom but does your new censorship policy have a problem with that? My guess is no, you don't have a problem with that. You don't have a problem with that. You just have a problem with, you know, anime movies. So why is it one way around and not the other? Is it because you can't get any woke points from Twitter for 
for the anime boobies? Is that what that is that what that's all about? Because if that's your main if that's your main motivation is is catering to the blue check marks on Twitter, I think you've kind of missed the ball. Not all of us are so insanely offended by everything, by the way. Honestly, I think it's real unhealthy to be so consistently offended by things like that. Hmm? Ah, I'm good. Well, I mean, I kind of didn't want that, but, I mean, there it is. I'm not going to go that far back. Let's just take on the lamb and see if the game is willing to offer me delirium. Owie! Didn't even see a bomb go in that direction. Ow. No, no victory lap this time. There is an achievement for doing victory laps, but not necessary to do right now. And Pandora's box, excellent. Well, that's that sort of makes up for the last run, and I'm happy about that. <clears throat> In a nutshell, this whole censorship thing is is an empty and hollow thing that Sony is doing, and I really I really hope that they revise their policies when they go to release the PlayStation 5, because if they don't, I think that's going to hurt overall sales, and I don't know, maybe Microsoft will end up on top next console generation, who knows? Only time will tell, but everyone, thank you very much for watching. If you liked what you saw, subscribe to see more in the future, drop a like, leave a comment, but the best thing you can do with this video is to share it with a friend. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and I'll be seeing you.